By now, you've probably heard about ProShow 5's big new features, like 3D tilt and GPU acceleration. But ProShow 5 also features hundreds of enhancements that make creating slideshows faster and easier. We're going to take a look at a few of these enhancements in ProShow 5. Everything I'm showing you is available in both ProShow Gold and ProShow Producer. Let's start with some improvements to playing and previewing your slideshow. In ProShow 5, we've centralized all the playback controls in one spot, right under the main preview. We've expanded the controls to include play, pause, and stop. So when you're playing a show in ProShow 5, you can hit the pause button to pause playback right there. Then, to resume playback, just hit the button again. We've also added a full screen button that makes it easier to preview or present your slideshow in full screen. Above the playback controls, you'll notice the seek bar, which is much wider, giving you better control when scrubbing through your slideshow. And in the bottom right, below the control bar, you'll now have access to tons of information. Even while playing your slideshow, this area displays the name of the slide style or transition effect being used, as well as information about the currently selected slide or slides. Over in the folder list, we've added the ability to manage your media source entries. Media sources are like shortcuts to your favorite folders. ProShow just adds a few shortcuts for you, and now in ProShow 5, you can add your own. Just right-click under Media Sources, and then choose Manage Media Sources. From here, you can add and remove custom shortcuts. Moving down to the slide list, we've added these handy tabs to make it easier to switch between the list view and the timeline. If you've never noticed the timeline before, now's your chance. Just click on the tabs to switch views. Or if you rather use a shortcut, just hit the tab key on your keyboard. In each slide, we now display the name of the slide style you've applied. Now you can see what effects are in your show without opening slide options. This also makes it easy to spot slides that don't have any effects applied yet. And speaking of spotting slides, ProShow 5 allows you to add a flag to any slide in your show. To add a flag, simply select a slide or a group of slides, then right click and hover over Flag Slide. Then, select Flag Selected Slides. This will add a flag to each slide you've selected. You can use this new feature for anything, like marking slides you want to polish a bit more, or highlighting important parts of your slideshow. After a slide's been flagged, you'll see a red flag in the slide list, which makes it easy to see. You can also click on the slide drop-down menu, and then click on Go to Next Flagged Slide to easily jump to the next one. And those are just a few of the new improvements in ProShow 5. To download a free trial and test it out for yourself, go to www.photodex.com. And as always, we're open seven days a week to take your call or email.